In a small town in the middle of nowhere lived a young child named Gregory. Gregory, do you see a small vent on the floor? Have you ever heard of Among Us, Greg? He was bullied in school, his parents shouted at him and beat him up because his grades weren't that great, and his older brother often stole his yo-yo. I like my yo-yo. All of that horrible abuse is still no match compared to what Blizzard did to Roadhog. Hello, Internet! Welcome to Game Fury! Today we are going to find out is Roadhog still viable to play? Does he still possess the power to dominate squishy heroes? Can we call him something else than pure garbage? To answer all of those questions and more, I have played only Roadhog for an entire week, and from what I can tell you straight up as a very cool start of this video, Roadhog is the least satisfying tank to play at the time of making this video. Not only most of the targets you hook escape to safety more times than the President Biden fell downstairs, but also I still experience this feeling of shattered hope when I do hook a target that was damaged beforehand and when I do my full combo on them they are still alive. Makes my blood boil instantly. But there are some things that have been changed for the better. So without any prolonging let's start off this video and find out what Roadhog is actually good at and not. First of all the biggest change is shown in the behavior of all people involved in the match. No longer do I see my enemies crying about the unskilled Roadhog lifestyle, but now my teammates are the biggest Roadhog enthusiasts. The sheer mentality of people when they see Roadhog in their team is like you just made the worst decision in your entire life. Just because a hero has been changed, aka nerfed to the ground, doesn't mean he doesn't want to win the game just as badly as your teammates do. I overall always play not only to win, but also to have fun, so whenever I see some damas tell me to switch my hero pick, I always wonder how much this person's parents neglected him as a child. Moving on to the gameplay changes, as mentioned in the beginning, there is almost 0% chance you will be the one-shotting machine like a few weeks ago. In order to perform a semi-one-shot combo, you must land a very good right-click before hooking in order to soften your target. No more do you hook anything you see on the screen and be confident that the target will die. You actively challenge anyone you hook to a close distance 1v1. You must land your following shots to actually win that duel, but if you fail, you always have that stupid health pack ready every few seconds after each fight. If you want to be a useful hog, play with your team. I know it's sometimes difficult to cooperate with creatures that haven't developed their brains yet, but you need to sometimes trust those little minions to help you whenever you hook someone to your team's zone of control. The hook no longer acts as the one-way ticket to Brazil, but rather the most powerful crowd control tool in the game. As we know, just the CC isn't enough to secure a kill. It is a huge advantage and a helping hand, but it is up to your skill and your team's um, efforts to actually secure an easy kill. Concluding this segment, a hook is now just a strong ability, an ability that is the only useful tool in Roadhog's kit that helps him and his team get kills and punish bad positioned enemies. Let's leave the hook ability for a second and focus on what has now become the most important part of his kit. You can argue all you want and provide us all in the comments why you think otherwise, but the main focus of Roadhog's kit is his primary weapon, Scrap Gun. Not only do we have have two types of fire with right and left click accordingly, but also we can somewhat connect his ultimate ability into this segment. Let's start with the mouse buttons though. From my playtime I discovered that you are the most useful in the middle range. Similar to Sigma, you really don't want to play close range to try and land those sweet meat shots with left clicks, it's a huge waste of your time and resources. Providing constant damage with perfect range right clicks are a monstrous obstacle your enemies have to go through. This is where Roadhog dominates now, especially with that bonus 6th shot added to his magazine. You would be surprised how powerful this shot can actually be. Also remember that it can deal more damage if you aim your shots between the eyes of your enemies, aka headshots. Think of Roadhog as a weird hybrid between Reaper and Romatra. He has a lot of health to fulfill the frontline role and has the damage to actually be a problem for the enemy team. Yeah, he doesn't have the shields or a helpful sustain, but what Hog can do 
is cosplay as an amazing delivery guy. Just stand somewhere near your hog and soon enough, he will deliver you an easy kill right into your front door. Quickly touching on his ult, it's pathetic. I personally really don't like it, only use it to get environmental kills or in closed spaces like corridors and rooms, or if the enemies are right up in your face. Quick tip, remember that just in case you can heal yourself while you use your ult, and you can still hook people if they get too far. Speaking of healing, let's very swiftly go through why this tiny gas can is actually giga busted. This single container of yellow juice makes Roadhog the master of survivability. You know how there are small and big health packs scattered across the maps, where some of them actually require you to travel to some very inconvenient parts of the map just to grab a snack. Now imagine that the only pack that is actually in a good spot is guarded by a guy that has a mega health pack always ready up his ass. You can say that he is hogging that pack. With a massive health pool that Hog has on his own, combining it with camping packs so enemies have no use for them, and having access to your own personal mega health pack creates infinite possibilities for your positioning. You can be anywhere you want, because in case things get spicy you can just run away and heal on your way out. The only downside to that strategy is as I mentioned before, you really want to stay with your team to be effective. This might come as a surprise to you, but that is all for the Roadhog's kit. As you can see, it's rather simple, so how do you utilize it to its full potential? Listen very carefully, because I will provide you with the knowledge I discovered the hard way, just so you can get it in the form of a short funny video. I have talked with big sentences for a while now, so enjoy this quick tips and tricks format for a moment. I don't know how many times do I have to say this for everyone to remember, but stay with your team. You are going to accomplish way more if you rely on your teammates more. Think of your hook more as an announcement to your team. Hey guys, here's a helpless moron that I caught just for you, rather than expecting a one-shot easy frag for yourself. Stop caring about your accuracy, just keep on shooting your right clicks in the general directions of the enemy team, to pin them down with a raw damage. Almost never use your left clicks other than hooking someone or engaging in a very close range fight. Get into the mindset that you no longer pick hog for the one-shotting and hooks, but rather landing satisfying right clicks on enemies' heads. Use your hook like Ash's coach gun or Reinhardt's charge, so only when the situation is right and you are sure you will do something with that ability. Don't spam hooks on anyone you see. Try to only target valuable targets like supports or mispositioned DPS that try to get on a sneaky flank. Do not be afraid to use your ult whenever you choose to or to save yourself. It's not that great anyways. And bonus tip, use it when you run out of ammo in your primary to output maximum damage possible. Environmental kills are now slightly easier to get with the bigger distance from your hooked target, so maps like Ilius, Route 66, Lijiang Tower are just a few examples of a huge green light for you to pick Hog and dominate. Yes, you are a tank, but you can't take the wrath of the entire enemy team, so make sure to be the front line, but at the same time know your boundaries and learn when to step back when the situation gets a little bit too scary. Pay extreme attention to abilities that can stun you. If you fail to notice, if for example Orisa used her spear or Sigma through his rock, then that can cost you up to 300 health. These abilities stop your healing so a good tank will wait for you to heal and then use their CC, so make sure you don't lose that mind game and play smart. That will be all for the precious knowledge you will need to dominate on the Hulk 2.0. Remember that you can always come back to this video to look up these tips once in a while, as I promise you if you start implementing these tips into your Hulk gameplay, then you will quickly improve at the game entirely. Hopefully this video helped you just a little bit. If you think you have a slightly worse friend that would make use of this video, then don't be afraid to share this video to him with the timestamp just to see the tips, so he can learn to get better at the game. Wrapping up this video, as always, thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed your time here. Have a lovely day, bye bye.